You haven't had a guy lead the league in sacks. You haven't had a guy finish in the top five in the league in sacks since Randy Gregory did it in 2013. Oh, Manning goes back, or Rick goes back and fields it and then throws it in a bounds. They're going to spot him inside the one. Mike Epstein has been the guy so far of running back, and he's got a big hole to explode off the right side. The veteran Epstein is inside the 35. A run of 46. Watch them on the right side here. Communicate. Right, get a hat on a hat. Get to the second level right there, Palcheski. The numbers were favorable. You knew attacking the edges was going to be a part of the game plan. 0 for 2 in the first carry is doing so. So everybody scrambles to the line. On first down and goal, it is Epstein, and he gets the touchdown. Yeah, Kramer does an awesome job of getting underneath Daniels right there. That is good on good, captain on captain, and after the play, a little bit of a shove over the pile. Third down and two, four receivers into the near side for Martinez, who is getting swallowed up. He loses the football, scoop and sprint. There goes Kelvin Hart. Touchdown, Illinois! To make him feel good, but you see these Illinois ends, they have squeezed him. They've kept him in that pocket. And unfortunately, it's that contact that he doesn't see, right? That contact behind him. And for the 36th time, third most giveaways over the last four years, unfortunately for Adrian, that ball comes out. Right, that's in between. That is right in between. I'm not a passer. I'm not yet a runner. I haven't tucked it away. But you know amidst that chaos, right, all around you, you can't see everything. Works off play action here. Even one into one-on-one. -on -one. Down the sideline and pulled in by, they're going to say it was in bounds. They are. Drop this in the bucket any better is the foot in bounds. It is. Does he actually cross the goal line? They told us yesterday, keep your eyes, keep your eyes open. 48 rush attempts in Nebraska last year. Artsikowski still has not completed a pass, and maybe that will change things. A wide open fingertip catch that time. Two spins. Quarterbacks for the Illini here, but they have a package of plays easing him into the wide receiver position. Outstanding grab. Had to go right over his shoe tops to get it. Does that right foot stay in bounds? Makes a clean catch mm. and twists and turns around. <laughs> it was close, though. Look at this. You see some green I in between the we white. see it. Yep. Sikowski, play action that time to Daniel Parker. Gets a foot down. It's a touchdown. All right, Sikowski turns his back to the defense. Linebackers are sucked in. Second and seven. And lost the football. It's recovered by Illinois. Isaiah K pounced on it. An absolute gift for Illinois. Into a power five environment. And have mistakes like this. They come back to bite you so quickly. Navarro again on the move. Sikowski. Fakes it. Finds Parker. Who finds the end zone for the second time. And Sikowski, a career-high three touchdown passes back to a three-point advantage. Sikowski has some options. Flushed out of the pocket. And the pass is complete that time at the sideline. And what a catch from Casey Washington. Ball wasn't anywhere near thrown in bounds, but he threw it where his receiver had an opportunity. Still very much a kick. Working his way into a system. Second down, Peters. Nice catch for McCray. Turns up field. And McCray with a stiff arm to get inside the Maryland 25 yard line. There's a flag on the play. Well, let's look at McCray there. He, he's supposed to maybe pick up Blitz. There, there is no screen called because you don't see any linemen detaching to block downfield. Huh. And that is just a big hit onto the helmet, launching into the helmet. I think that face-to-face -face contact was between Coley. Meanwhile, it's Peters stepping up in the pocket. It is caught! Peters has to step up into the pocket to deliver this. And it's still...
having some trouble. I thought it was just the cardinal rule in television. You talk about something and then the opposite happens. There's Chase Brown in the flat. Cuts it back. Chase Brown up the sideline, brought down inside the 15. Run for the running back, Chase Brown, and again, they're knocking on the door. Chase Brown comes wide open out there on the swing. Nobody there, and this is just a great move on the edge on Nick Cross to gain about 12 more yards. Isaiah Williams, the man in motion. Give it to Josh McCray, and McCray slips a tackle inside the 20. Stick for him inside the 10. Touchdown, Illinois. When this young man gets the ball, what other proof do you need? He takes it to the left side, makes a decisive cut, and then nobody wants a piece of him. Don't try to tackle that guy high. Woo. Bennett tries. Looks pretty good right now. Chase Brown just went into the Illinois medical tent. There goes Love. Escapes up through midfield. Fumbled the football. Picked up by Illinois. KC Washington. Touchdown. Oh, what a schizophrenic game. <laughs> what a game indeed. And Illinois has the lead for the first time tonight. Jack Plummer holding the football. You need your edge to show up at some point. They move the launch point. Carney continues to work, ends up eventually getting around the block of Payne Durham. O'Connell. Eye in the back of the end zone. It's picked off. Picked off by Kirby Joseph. His second INT of the year. Opportunity towards the back of the end zone here. O'Connell holds it for a moment. You want to throw it just a little bit higher. You want to throw it firm, but with an arc when you're trying to get the football towards the back of the end zone. Kirby Joseph, no other responsibility than to eyeball the quarterback and make sure nothing goes towards the back of the sticks. Not only. And here's McCray, a big hole up the middle. McCray trying to push his way. Across the 35, he'll be spotted at about the 33-yard line. Managing the usage of Josh McCray right now. You can only ask so much of a young football player, the volume that will be required of him in a game like this. They gave him a blow for a couple of series, and now there's more urgency, more freshness to his legs. And oh, by the way, go ahead and taste these fingers. <laughs> but they're doing what they can with the limited playbook that he has available. O'Connell, and is that picked off? It was tipped, tipped and picked off by Tony Adams, and Illinois defense does it again, the second takeaway. Early games of this season where the Purdue secondary was a lot more aggression, they were getting into the face of receivers, not the zone eyes that we've seen on display as frequently the last couple of weeks, and so there where Tony Adams is just waiting essentially to catch the route coming in his direction, and because he's on the spot and he's got eyes on the football, he's right there to make this play. Just like going out on a spacewalk, coming out of the airlock, and going out into space and laying it all on the line. So yeah, there's a lot of parallels. Is it really just like that? We're gonna send it right back up so they can talk about this play. We'll be right back to you. Grant DeBose had the bar, ball dislodged on that pass completion, and Kirby Joseph, who's been a takeaway machine. It's third down for Brandon Peters and the Illini looking for their first touchdown in two weeks. Over the middle, it's caught for a touchdown. Daniel Barker breaks the streak for Illinois. See it right here. Come off the linebacker. That ball should be a little more in front, but it's behind in a tight window. Here's another first and ten. Brown game good for Illinois and Chase Brown. Touchdown! Charlotte's weakness defensively was stopping the run. You see the push up front, you have to make one guy miss. The bonus is make three or four of them miss and get this thing into the end zone. Ryman, the tight end. Lead blocker for Brown, who steps on it. Brown! Touchdown!
Gio Howard had the final grasp at the straw that was Chase Brown. Chance to get off the field with a three and out. Reynolds picked off. No. Yes, it was Keith Randolph Jr. who almost dropped it but held on. The ball game for Illinois' defense and 11th of the season. Right there, the big fella got no penetration. So what you do, you reach, trace, try to get your hands up to knock a ball down. But maybe he can play a little tight end right here, Chris. A wobbly ball, and he makes the big catch for a big turnover for the fighting Illini right there. Time expiring, game-winning field goal and the upset win over Wisconsin two years ago. But right now, the second quarter starts with an interception. Kirby Joseph, a turnover in five straight games for Illinois. Two fumble recoveries, three interceptions, and Illinois stops the Wisconsin drive. Hung in the air too long and allowed the defender to come all the way from the middle of the field and make that pick. They have been on top of their game. Brown with a burst. Brown with a run. This is just the second time this year that Wisconsin has allowed a rushing play of more than 10 yards. That starts at the 22 and ends up let's see where they spot it 23 yards for chase brown man and i jinxed them right as soon as i said they're pitching a shutout here you go and this is just a good job of blocking and jet sweep run by chimray dk and then the conversion by brady shipper so you spread it around you spread the wealth and now braylon allen running the ball oh and it squirts out at the end is he down or is it an illinois fumble recovery it's illinois ball the indication right now be a sixth turnover of the year if he's the one who comes away with the recovery. It is Joseph. Gain went for seven. This is the farthest that Illinois has driven down the field today, and they'll have a snap in Wisconsin territory for the first time. It will be at the 35 yard line. Yeah, and they came with the blitz, so they played man, but they played it off. He knows how to recruit and develop offensive linemen. And stay backed up, and there's the hookup. Clifford to Dotson. The ball out, but it's covered up by Parker Washington. Washington, that's the first pass attempt from Clifford. See the patience by Dotson off the line of scrimmage? To midfield, and breaking tackles is Chase Brown. It's only the second time in the game that Illinois has crossed the 50. Brown ran him out 27 yards. It's a really good job by the interior of the offensive line. Sift block. What about that? Cut by Brown and then making King miss. Chase Brown spins at the goal line. Is he in? No signal yet. And it's a touchdown for the Illini. First half for Chase Brown. This is all Chase Brown now. He gets hit at the two and a half yard line and just strength spins off the tackle. Watch, he's going to get hit at about the three yard line. Spin, keep his feet going. Izzard has a chance at him. Blockbuster trade that saw them swap teams. And now we've got a running back down the sideline all the way out to midfield getting bumped out of bounds is Josh McCray. That's a big run. All this week, St. Seahawks. Monday night countdown at 6 Eastern. Big bodies on the field. Punch you in the mouth football. Make it dirty at the line of scrimmage. They defend the chair here in Champaign. Peters on third and seven. Wide open look. Daniel Parker to midfield. Big third down pickup, the first of the game for Illinois. But they pick up a chunk play and really well protected. Chase Brown. 34 carries and 157 yards coming into today. Yeah, he's been in and out of the lineup a lot this season. Peters has a man. It's caught. Touchdown, Illinois. Isaiah Williams. These big play opportunities will continue to be there off the play action for the Illini. Clean pocket. Peters steps right into it. Hits Isaiah Williams in stride. There is speed to burn for this young playmaker. Still learning the wide receiver position. Peters had a nice first half so far. Wide open. There's Washington. Slips one, slips another. Down the middle of the field, past the 50 yard line. From Washington, a great throw from Peters. He throws the curl, and as he's working back down towards the football, Brandon Peters was already in his throwing motion, and the ball hit intricacies you would like cleaned up a little bit more and off to brown he's got the edge slips one and out of bounds just outside the 25 yard line good hard run from chase brown this has not been 
an explosive Illini offense throughout much of the season. They've had their share of chunk runs, the chunk passing game. I said five down, not timeout, five down. <laughs> Play pass out of the screen. So much room and gone, Daniel Barker. Touchdown, Illinois. Daniel Barker for a tight end, so elusive after the catch. They counted on Rutgers, and knowing Rob Smith likes to work some movement, even once you get towards the red zone, they counted on that movement from the D-line, the pursuit for the Scarlet Knights going in one direction, setting up Barker. Now for two teams that like to play as many as seven offensive linemen, the line of scrimmage at one time. I used to seeing five wide. Morgan hit as he threw it, and it's picked off. Illinois forces the game's first turnover, Tariq Barnes. Single high safety, man-to-man -man underneath, and there was a sniffer in the middle of the field, which simply means kind of spying on Tanner Morgan. The pressure led to this tipped ball, the pressure up the middle, and Carney around the end. A first look at the barge formation. You got linemen everywhere. Isaiah Williams to the edge with a cut and the touchdown. Tip pass turnover, and it's not, you don't get blue ribbons for turnovers or takeaways. You get blue ribbons for getting into the end zone after one. And for our second quarter, critical matchup in the Big Ten West. Play action for Peters. End zone wide open for the touchdown. Tip Ryman reaches pay dirt. First touchdown of the season and of the redshirt freshman's career. The defense sees this massive formation. And they think, obviously, we got to get our heads in the run fit. And then it's a naked boot by Brandon Peter. Morgan, deep toss, intercepted, picked off by Kirby Joseph. And that'll do it. Illinois on the road in the Big Ten West finds a way. And Minnesota was going right back to that big play they've already had on this drive, Dalen. Wright was coming in on the dig route. This one was thrown too high. But a great start this afternoon. Second and seven, empty set with Peters. Throwing right, caught, that's four, touchdown, Illinois. Cation is at a premium. You can see in the back end, they just lose right here. They just drop them because they read patterns. And we talked to Coach Parker, the defensive coordinator. I don't know how, jet sweep, reverse, whatever it takes, get him the ball. Peters to throw. He's looking deep, and he's got a man. It's Washington across midfield and down close to the Iowa 40-yard line. AC Washington on a double move on the stop and go. Oh, you got to love it. The DB is in no man's land, and if that ball is a little bit further downfield, that'll be a big-time touchdown, but very good job by Peters standing in the pocket and delivering a ball that KC can catch. Very good job of dialing up a double move, knowing how aggressive the DBs for Iowa have been. And Peters is just loading them up, isn't he? And this one is caught on the sideline, and Bryant stepped out of bounds. Oh, how dangerous was that? First, let's make sure it was a good catch. The ball a bit underthrown, but like I always say, when, you, when you're throwing the deep ball, yeah, he's definitely stepped out of bounds. Illinois is not quick. In the red zone. Peters trying to get one, and he does. Touchdown, fighting a line high. Been clamoring for Isaiah Williams to get the ball, but they get him right here on a post route, and he just spins the DB around or, and gets in the end zone. Three catches and a season high 61 yards in the loss against Iowa last week for Washington. Fresh set of downs. Peters, good ball fake up top. Got him that wide open. Touchdown, Illinois. Isaiah Williams on the score. Watch the, the fake out right here. They're going to fake this, this. He looks like he's blocking. They look like he's going to loop forward, but no. He's going deep to Isaiah Williams. That made the corner bite up as they saw Luke Ford there in the flat. You see how he pumps the flat? Decided, you know what, I'm actually a better receiver. Red shirt in his first year, Williams. Peters launching down the middle of the field. He's got Washington with a catch down to the 10 yard line. A beautiful ball. As you'll see, watch him fall right here as the ball comes in. You see the official right there fall in front. Almost
elbows in, but you don't throw it much better than that. And off Chase Brown. Stays on his feet. Gets to the outside. Chase Brown inside the 20. Brought down inside. Slow to get to his sideline. Quan Martin was in there too. He was the one that got that pass thrown off of his chest. Navarro on the return. Gets by one. He's into Northwestern territory on his feet. Inside the 30. He's given the Peter call. That means get away from the football. Peter, Peter, Peter. He says, what well, a favorable bounce. Let me take this. Now watch him go. Look at the cut here. And then makes another cut. Makes Spivak miss in space. That might not be difficult. But he makes a couple other guys miss a good return. We've seen in years past, of course, the explosive plays that we've mentioned that Mike the Jenkins have been difficult to get. Chase Brown, left side, inside the 20. Brown's over 100 yards. It all starts up front. Great block there by Palcheski that opens the hole. And this is where Chase Brown's so effective, making people miss in the open field. A 1,000 yards rushing.